to tear down monuments and all these statues, President Trump issuing this warning to parents. Our children are taught in school to hate their own country and to believe that the men and women who built it were not heroes, but that were villains. Well, Rachel Campos Duffy is a mother of nine children. Look at that beautiful picture. And she says that it wasn't until she began homeschooling her children that she realized how worrisome the curriculum can be in our schools. And she joins us now. Good morning to you, Rachel. Good morning. Good morning, morning Ainsley. I'm Happy good. Happy belated 4th of July. I know, to you too and your beautiful family. So nine kids. When did you start homeschooling and what's the experience been like for you? So my kids all go to public and private school. But when I started homeschooling for COVID, and look, I always knew my kids' schools were kind of liberal. It wasn't until I saw their curriculum and was really deeply involved because of the COVID homeschooling that I realized just how liberal they were. My son, who's a senior, had communist propaganda videos with absolutely no counterpoint, uh, no critical um, thinking required or discussion in, you know, via Google Classroom. And in fact, when he put in a, a, a counterpoint, the teacher removed it from the Google Classroom comment section. So um, it's really much more troubling than people think. And I think a lot of parents were clued into it before, got more of it during COVID. And I think when they heard the president speak at Mount Rushmore, they said, yes, thank you, Mr. President. Thank you for saying what we think. We've got to get to work on raising patriotic kids because I think that's why we're in the situation that we're in right now. Yeah, I wonder if more parents, after we've gone through all this and they realize, like you did, what's happening in our schools, if, if homeschooling will be um, increased, we'll, we'll see an uptick in that. What are some of, what's your advice if we wanna raise um, individuals, children, you know, we only have 18 years basically to teach them autonomy. How do we teach them to be patriotic? It's so important. I have an article in the Federalist about it. I think the first thing you need to realize is that you have more influence over your children than people they don't know. So if you're not talking to your kids about American history, about socialism, guess what? Somebody else is, and it's probably not what you want your kids to learn. So make sure that you are directly talking to your kids at every opportunity you have. The other thing is you have to start really young. Um, baby board books, believe it or not, and moms and dads of babies know this, baby board books now have ideologically leftist Marxist messages in them. Um, so you have to start young. It's not just the college Marxist professor you have to worry about, you know, when your kid goes off to college. It's now while we parents were sleeping, while the GOP was worried about tax cuts, Marxist radical leftists have absolutely taken over our education system. And that's something parents really have to be aware of so that they're providing that information. I also tell parents all the time, make sure you're telling your child over and over again that they're not a victim. Tell them your American dream story. Every American family has one. Um, tell it and retell it. Because one of the tricks of the left is to tell you that our country, um, that the American dream is dead, um, that it's rigged against us. And if you believe that, then you need them. And so it's a trick of the left to do that. Um, another thing I think that you need to know about uh, or need to do is to realize that showing it rather than telling it when it comes to patriotism and loving our country matters almost more. Our kids are picking up on our gestures. So how do you salute the flag? Does dad take his hat off when he hears the, pledge, uh, the, the uh, national anthem? Um, do you thank veterans? Do you lay wreaths on the, on the graves of our American heroes? Make sure that you're understanding that your child is watching everything that you do and those gestures matter. That's great advice. Thank you, Rachel.